This is First Coast News at Noon. First for you. Good afternoon, everyone. We've made it. It's finally yep. Friday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amanda Zitzman. And I'm Phil Amato. We're following a developing story for you this noon hour. A man is dead after police say he was found shot in a ditch. All right, thank you, David. Right now, a man is in critical condition at Orange Park Medical Center after he was shot by police. Happened around 10 last night at the Mariner's Wharf Apartments just off Wells Road. Police say they responded to reports of a suicidal man there when 26-year-old Nicholas Kennedy approached with a gun and pointed it at them. That's when Deputy Reginald Hyatt shot him. We'll, of course, have much more on both of these stories as soon as we get more information. Expect updates, though, throughout the day on FirstCoastNews.com and starting on First Coast News at 5. Now, this is the second police shooting on the First Coast this week. Another man, Leslie Cohen, was shot and killed by officers Tuesday on Atlantic Boulevard. Police responded to a dispute over a gun at Academy Sports involving Cohen and a woman. When they attempted to pull the suspect's vehicle over, police say Cohen pointed a gun at them, so they opened fire. The female driver, Tammy Gill, was taken into custody. Investigators say this all happened just 20 minutes after Gill sent a threatening email to her employer. They believe the two may have been planning a revenge plot. Gill now being held on half a million dollars bond. She will be back in court next month. First for you, according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, as of Tuesday's shooting, there have been 16 police-involved shootings in Duval County this year. The number of police-involved shootings where an individual was shot by an officer is 10. Of those 10, six have been deadly. Breaking news right now. Connecticut State Police are responding to reports of a shooting at a Newtown Elementary School. Here's what we know right now. A teacher has been shot in the foot and taken to the hospital. This also just in. Officials say they have killed the gunman. One officer says the gunman had two weapons. It's not yet clear, though, if anyone else was injured. All schools in the area are on lockdown. We'll stay on top of this story for you, bringing new information as it comes in on air and on our website, firstcoastnews.com. A complete update also at 5. Next at noon, under attack. Could your bank be threatened by a cyber attack? How it would affect you? And hundreds poisoned after eating in a popular restaurant. Where it happened and what went wrong in the kitchen. Plus, Susan Rice is out as UN ambassador, who the president is considering to fill that spot. We want to go now live to Connecticut, where state police are responding to reports of a school shooting in elementary school. CNN now reporting multiple students are shot. Initial reports said a teacher was shot in the foot. They have killed the gunman, though, according to police. So we will stay on top of this for you both on air and online at firstcoastnews.com. We have breaking news just into the newsroom right now. Connecticut State Police on the scene of Sandy Hill Elementary where a school shooting has taken place. We're told there were two gunmen. One gunman is dead. One gunman still believed to be at large right now. As far as those injured, we are getting conflicting reports. The mayor in Newton apparently tells CNN that three people are critically wounded and we are working to gather more information right now. Yeah, that's according to the mayor. Once again, also we also know that a teacher has possibly been shot in the foot and taken to the hospital. So once again, a total of uh, three people critically wounded, according to the mayor of Newtown. Once again, that uh, is in Connecticut. School shooting happening happening at an elementary school there. Well, next at noon, the mother of the Oregon suspected mall shooter is now speaking out what she has to say about her son. And it's fruit basket turnover in the president's cabinet. What's behind the shakeup? And that's right, future cash showing some clearing skies this afternoon. But look off to the southeast. We have another coastal low that's trying to develop and what that means for your weekend coming up. And we continue to follow an elementary school shooting in Newton, Connecticut. CNN is saying the mayor says three people are critically wounded. We're working to get more information as far as if any students are injured. Two gunmen, one killed, one still on the loose. We'll have the latest in minutes. But as his mother, he'll always be in my heart. The woman who raised the suspected Oregon mall shooter says she's trying to cope with grieving the loss of her son while trying to understand what he did. Tammy Roberts is the biological aunt of Jacob Roberts, but she refers to herself as his mother. Roberts was near the mall the day of the shooting. She said she heard the sirens and saw the police cars as authorities responded to the scene. In all, two people were killed and another injured before Jacob Roberts turned the gun on himself. They told me that my son was dead. Tammy Roberts says she wants all of the victim's families to know she's sorry for what happened. Egypt's opposition leaders want President Mohamed Morsi to cancel tomorrow's vote on the draft of the country's constitution. A Wyoming restaurant is shut down this afternoon after food poisoning sickened nearly 200 people. The local health department is looking into complaints that people got sick after eating at Golden Corral. Company officials closed the restaurant for a top to bottom cleaning and disinfecting. Authorities say the illnesses were probably caused by the norovirus, but that can't be confirmed without testing. 
All right, Mike Frangley is here now for a look at our weather. Still cool out there, yes. but looking a little bit nicer with the sun coming out. At here. least the clouds are thinning out a yeah. bit. All right, thank you, Mike. A Florida man discovered the worst way to try and fix your marriage. According to police, Robert Ball invited his wife Janet to his house to try and patch things up. When she got there, though, she told him she didn't love him anymore. Police say that's when Robert pulled out a gun, forced her to watch TV, then made her go to dinner with him at Golden Corral. They stopped at Walmart afterwards, and he even bought her some shoes. He was charged with aggravated domestic assault and tampering with a witness. Mm. Well, if you plan to use the Postal Service to mail your Christmas gifts, then you better get your packages in the mail today. And if you plan to ship your last-minute holiday gifts outside of the Postal Service, you still have some time. According to Shop.org's 2012 e-holiday study, more than 43% of retailers surveyed say they will offer free expedited <coughs> shipping through December 20th or 21st. If you're an extreme last-minute shopper, you'll be relieved to know that 13% of companies are offering shipping promotions until the 22nd. A pet for the holidays. We'll tell you all about a sweet little kitten that's in our studios and loving on our carpet right now. It is time now for Pet Tales. The Jacksonville Humane Society is here with sweet little John, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's a four-month-old domestic short hair. He's full of lots of energy, um, ready to go home with a, a ha the home for the holidays. He has a cute little face there. Look at that with the what black and the white there. What would be a good home for him? Uh, you know, really, he's so young and still learning a lot about the world. Uh, any home would be good. He seems to play with uh, well with other kitties. Um, yeah. He did come in with litter mates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, folks wants to, uh, want to adopt him. Um, yeah. What's the process of doing it? How much does it cost? Well, actually, this weekend we're having a big special. Oh. It's uh, three days of Catmas. All of cats, kittens, any age, any size, go home for free this weekend. Great. Yeah. All right, and if you would like to adopt sweet little John here, you can contact the Jacksonville Humane Society. Their number there on your screen, 725-8766, or you can head to jackshumane.org. All right, little John. Boy, oh. Uh, Mike, you almost hey. scared him. Yes, sweet <laughs> John. He came up on him. He, didn't like it. he has his claws now. <laughs> He's not happy with the weather, but I tell you what, sweet John, we have a little sweet sunshine back in the forecast here. Uh, we're taking a look at today. In fact, if you go outside this afternoon, Phil, I have been and outside. Z, it's you know, actually nice. It's pleasant. I mean, if you like a little cooler weather. It is. Right? Thinner clouds. All right, hey, thanks, thanks Mike. Mike. Now we want to go back out live to the school shooting of, uh, in Connecticut. It's at Sandy Hook Elementary. We are awaiting a press conference regarding the shooting right now. There is still one gunman believed to be on the loose. One is dead. At least three people critically injured involved in this shooting. As soon as we get that press conference, we will carry it live on firstcoastnews.com.